face for today. Welcome to yet another one of our videos where today we're going to be like the last video we made where we tried Wimpy. This time we're going to be having Filipino fast food, Jollibees. The only place you can get Jollibees in the UK is in London. So we've had to get someone to get this for us. Still under lockdown, so um, a group of Filipinos in the local community got together all to order a large quantity of Jollibees, mm -hmm. which is why we have this bucket of yeah. Jollibee fried chicken. The most expensive Jollibee we've <laughs> ever had. Because yeah. this is like three times the price. Yeah, I mean, we had to pay in excess because of the delivery from London plus the store that um, I guess was being the middleman in it probably wanted to make a profit but you know at the same time this is the only way you can get Jollibees in the UK and I don't know for me it's probably been a year and a half since I last had Jollibees yeah don't know how long maybe um when we went to Thailand yeah 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 I think the last time I had Jollibees was right before my flight home uh, yeah. to England which would have been Gosh, February 2019, I think? Possibly then? What about you? When was the last time you had Jolly Bees? Um, uh... A while ago. Anyway, today we've got an eight piece bucket of Jolly Bees chicken. Um, we've got uh, some fries. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a burger, a Jolly hot dog, and. The famous Jolly spaghetti. Jolly hot dog and double yum burger how mm -hmm. it's it's hot mm -hmm. so zara's going to be focusing on the hot dog the spaghetti oh, the no, burger I'm gonna eat as well. i'm gonna have all the chicken to myself this is hot but because i'm excited for the spaghetti oh look it's all so... okay i'm gonna move this out of the way so we've got some more room um, but I'm just going to place this off camera over here. And I'm going to have some of my chicken and some of my fries. Let's start the mukbang now. So these are slightly salted. Not as salted as um, McDonald's fries, but less salted than the Wimpy fries, which weren't salted at all. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest, I quite like the slightly salted taste, but. I don't like an abundance of salt in my fries. The thing about the um, spaghetti in the Philippines is it's sweet. It's not the same as the one we usually have here, which is more of like tomato flavor. But this one is sweet because they add milk. Right, okay. I'm just trying to get all my fries out. Mm. I have for you as well a Coke Zero for when you get thirsty. Yeah, thank you. And a Coke Zero for myself. I miss this. It doesn't taste the same in the Philippines. This. So, are you saying this is a English version of the Filipino yeah. Jolly Bees? Yeah, it doesn't taste like the what we usually have in the Philippines. This is more of like a Western version of Jolly Spaghetti. They right, enhance okay. the taste probably because um, Brits are not really into sweet spaghetti. It's sweet, but it's not. You know what I mean? The the taste that you get from um, Jolly spaghetti normally in the Philippines, it's really sweet with lots of cheese and and um, sauce. But this one, it's just enough for the pasta. So it's not that doesn't have too many sauce and cheese as well. Uh, probably because it's melted already, but. Still different. I'm trying to get all my fries on my and there's plate. There's no meat. Um, I can see a little bit of meat, but unlike in the Philippines, there's more meat in it. It's meaty and a lot of toppings. 
trying to save money in the UK. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you're wondering what the chicken's like, it's very similar to KFC chicken, but obviously with, a not so, with the same recipe. I would say KFC chicken is probably slightly spicier. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's much spice in this one at all. Although that said, I do remember Jollibee having the spicy mm -hmm. chicken, so you can get two different types. Although I don't think we got a choice when we ordered. Does it taste the same? <laughs> Are you honest, disappointed? I'm not really disappointed because I miss Jollibee. It's just that I'm looking, I'm search, I mean, I'm looking for that sweet, sweet taste. And the hot dog here is different. It's more of like a chicken hot dog. It'll be easier if I just use my hands, but I don't want to make too much of a mess. I finish. Can I have one piece? Can I have one piece of chicken? No. Karma. Drop my fork. I'm disappointed. It doesn't come up with gravy. I don't know if they forgot to put it in our bag. But there is no gravy, and that's the best thing about Jollibee. So when the lockdown's over, maybe we'll go to the Jollibees in London. Mm -hmm. We'll do a day trip, maybe a vlog. I'm already feeling really full. I told him we're gonna we're gonna save the leftover for tomorrow because mm. it's too expensive. It's like work, meal work for how long? It's like a week's worth of food, food yeah. in the last two days. With the Wimpy and now the Jolly Bees. I mean, I miss Jolly Bee. I'm just disappointed that it doesn't come up with the gravy, and that's what I'm looking forward to. It's Notably, you couldn't actually order rice at Jolly Bees when we ordered the food. Yeah, there is no option to get the rice because maybe they're thinking that we can easily make it mm. at home. And also, I'm disappointed that it doesn't come up with like halo halo or. <laughs> Or any dessert normally like mango pie, tuna pie. I like rich mango pie. That's the best dessert of Jollibee. That's should try it. Have you tried it? Yeah. Yeah. You've given it to me before. Do you like it? Mm. When we get when we visit London, we'll try it. Definitely we'll try it. Right. But you don't like halo halo. Mm. No, he's so, he's so picky. It's so annoying. I'm using my hand because it's easier to eat with your hand. Because we'll have those. I haven't even shown it to them yet. Yeah, this is... Oh, weird. <laughs> the jolly hat look, look. It's, it's so different. The cheese are... It's obviously, it's already melted. In the Philippines, the cheese... It, it's, it's a different kind of cheese. You put it in the microwave. What do you expect? Well, even... If I put it in the microwave, there's still gonna be some bits of cheese left. It's not gonna be melted. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big um fan of bread. You see, whenever I eat something with bread, I normally remove the bread and just eat the filling. It's up to you if you want to do that. I have here one napkin. I'm gonna to give to you because you've been eating with your hands. I have a lot of stuff. I don't think you can give it a fair review because we didn't eat it fresh. Um, obviously, where we've ordered it, come in quite a distance to be delivered to mm -hmm. us. Um, it's gonna have cooled down, then we heated it up again, and often when you reheat food that isn't meant to be reheated, it doesn't have the same. People will say, people might say I complain a lot, but. If you are here in my place, you'll do the same thing. Because <laughs> I know what Jolly Bee at home tastes like. Because I've been living in the Philippines for like 25 years. Okay. Yeah. So you can't tell that I am. Can't say that I am complaining a lot because I just miss the taste of Jolly Bee back home. Okay. That's that's fair. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not gonna finish any eating this because it's just tough. You know, we have been absolutely defeated. Uh, we've still got half a bucket left of Jolly Bee's yeah, chicken. Yeah, we don't want to waste it. So we're, we're not going to waste it. We are going to eat it tomorrow. We're going to put it um, in the... So we are going to not waste anything. Um, please believe us. I will probably finish my fries that I've got on my plate 
late today. Oh yeah. Zara still has an entire unopened untouched fries. She still has an untouched burger. So But I'm gonna eat this for my snack. I'll just wait for like 30 minutes before <laughs> eating. Um the burger is not that Take big. it out of the packet. <laughs> Look, it's all melted because it looks awful. It's all melted because it came all the way from London. We microwave it and this is what it looks like now. I like this. It's really cheesy. And I like cheese. Oh! The bread is kind of toasted. Oh, look. Yeah, I can see. It's, it's tough. Because I microwave it. I like this. I'm full, but I feel like eating this. In the Philippines, our yum burger is really different. You only have made I mean, you yeah, you have like a choice of getting cheese on your burger, but this one is really different. It's a lot tastier than what we have in the Philippines because in the Philippines we have lots like mayo. We mm -hmm. put mayo. I believe there's also mayo in here, but it, the cheese. It's just you haven't explained why it's any better though. Because of the cheese. Okay. I pre maybe it's the quality of the cheese that we use, because in the Philippines, they maybe they use like cheaper okay. cheese, while here in the UK, I mean, cheese is kind of like, you can buy it for a cheap price. <laughs> I was talking about cheese because I love this and he hates it. You, you just talked about cheese for about 20 minutes, and I'm gonna have to cut all, all the way down. But it's fun. Mm, I really like this. I'm gonna finish this. Even if I'm full, I'm gonna finish this. Because it's just good. I don't wanna waste it. But I can eat this again later, so. Don't force yourself and make yourself ill. If you're done and you want to finish later, finish it later. Alright then. So <laughs> I, 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 I think I I think I nailed that one. Uh, Zara's gonna finish the burger later to not waste the food. Mm -hmm. But I hope you've enjoyed watching this guys. Um, subscribe, we've got some interesting videos coming up soon. And um, also <clears throat> Please like our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We've got a competition going on at the moment. You have to go onto the Facebook page if you want to find more about the competition. <laughs> yep. So, tune in for our next video. Bye for now. Bye.